happening? I can't, why do I hear sound just from this? Because... I, I hear my fingers already. Yep, yep. You're, you're, you're converting your electronic, whatever you're doing, into a mechanical motion. And so you're pushing on the air. There's, you know, the uh, the post is moving in and out. Oh, so it's That's just from from the vibrations of this magnet. It's just from the vibrations of the magnet. So is that uh, rarefying, and rarefying and compressing the air just within yep. a short space? Yep. And it does not. I mean, it, it's if you think of a horn. Yes. Uh, you know, a horn without a bell at the end doesn't do much because it doesn't couple the sound out to the air. There's a mismatch. Right. And you get the same thing here. Here, this is your, just the magnet is your horn, I mean, is your, 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 your bugle with no horn on the end. I got you. It doesn't couple out, but this couples it out. Oh, right, right. So this is... This and is moving the paper at the exact yep. frequency that. Yep. And uh, you might even be able to do it right on the table. This table might be too thick. Oh, here. That's that table. is perfect. Better table. This huh? part. Might have to take your backpack off because that'll All damp right. it out. Uh, but I'll bet you that this, this table will just go nuts. If it all reaches. Well, if it all reaches. Details. See, table. Not so much. A little bit of Not radiation. So I'm surprised actually it just doesn't. You, you, so, something's not able to move. That's right. That feels. Yeah, that's, well, guitar tops are. Yeah. Real thin. You hear it? Huh. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 Uh, you just have to. So anyway, here's the uh, little speak magnet speaker that I just made. Uh, it took about uh, 60 windings of magnet wire uh, and wrapped it around a neodymium magnet. Made it a little larger than the size of the magnet so that the magnet could move in there. The, the winding that is. And uh, as you can hear, it's making sound already straight from the input into my guitar amplifier. Which I don't recommend if you have a, an expensive guitar amplifier. This little one. Um, so, as you heard the professor say, uh, it's already moving the air in such a way that makes it sound like the original artist is playing right in front of me, sort of. Uh, and you can see I can exploit that sound waves even further by focusing them. So this would be like your speaker cone right here, the diaphragm. And um, this shape seems to work the best, this salad bowl. This is uh, sort of parabolic in shape. Uh, one other thing I was going to talk about was the shape of the speaker cone. So this is a cone. We can sort of replicate just like this. And that's real good projection. I'd say that's the, twice as loud as it was just in my bare hands just by folding this laminate uh, piece of paper. Anyway, so that's uh, a little bit about how a speaker works. The end.